All right, now Samsung has made some important changes in the device care section on One UI 6.0, which streamlines the settings and adds some additional important features. So in this video, let's take a look at all those new features and changes. Here I've got the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is running on One UI 6.0 based on Android 14. And this is the S22 Ultra, currently running on One UI 5.1 based on Android 13. Let's open settings here. Let me open device care, as you can see on One UI 5.1, we have got uh, the battery and device care mentioned here. I'll tap on this. Now here on the 6.0, it says device care in which we have got both the battery and other settings. Let me tap on this. Now here the first change that I want to show you is under storage section. I'll tap on storage. As you can see, uh, the system storage is just about 17.56 GB here, whereas on One UI 5.1, the system storage is 41.69 GB, which is huge. So it seems like the system is taking a lot of memory on One UI 5.1, whereas on 6.0, the system memory consumption is very, very less compared to the previous iteration. Now, of course, this depends on various factors, but there is a huge difference between these two iterations of One UI with respect to the system memory. Now, when I scroll down, you can see we've got recycle bin right here. And and here we have got some suggestions which says get 46.51 MB of space by deleting old images from the Volvo folder. Uh, we can either select not now or we can select review the older files. Uh, I can tap on review the older files to see all these files. I can directly delete all those files within that particular application right here under manage storage. I'll go back. Uh, I, I've got a few more suggestions here. I can swipe towards the right. You can see we have got uh, another suggestion which says free up 7.03 GB of space by deleting the invisible backups of your pictures and videos. Uh, again, I can select the files here. You can see it says reclaim space by deleting the original versions of files you have edited and saved. So I can save all these uh, files if I want. So it's consuming almost about 7 GB. So it's a very good suggestion by the system uh, which is asking me to delete all these files uh, which are original versions of the files we have already edited and saved. Let me go back. I got a few more suggestions here. It says add more space with a cloud account. Uh, this seems to be an advertising. <laughs> they are pushing us to add uh, more storage on OneDrive and Google Drive. Then there's another suggestion which says clear 1.9 GB of storage space by deleting downloaded files you haven't used recently. So these are some very cool suggestions uh, which are showing up on One UI 6.0 and we will be able to manage the storage very easily now with the Android 14. Now let me just scroll down here. As you can see, uh, this area here, we've got app cache, recycle bin, unused apps, duplicate files, large files. These are also there on the One UI 5.0, but uh, it looks like it's very well organized here on 6.1. We can tap on each of them to expand them and see uh, the files that you want to delete. As you can see on recycle bin, again, it is categorized here. We've got my files, gallery, contacts, Samsung notes, voice recorder. Uh, we can free up space by deleting files from the recycle bin in the, the applications. So uh, it's categorically uh, showing the different applications in which we have got the deleted files we can delete them right from here instead of deleting all the files at once all right now let's move to the next important feature let me tap on memory as you can see in the previous version, we have excluded apps here and RAM Plus, whereas on One UI 6.0, we have got a brand new option here called Memory Resident Applications. Let me tap on this. It says Memory Resident Apps run in the background all the time. Sometimes this is necessary for an application to work correctly. However, too many Memory Resident Applications can slow down your phone. If you aren't using any of these applications below, putting them in deep sleep may improve your phone's performance. So basically, to improve the performance, it is suggesting us uh, some of the applications which can be uh, put into deep sleep uh, as you can see here. These two applications it is saying uh, put into deep sleep for some reason even WhatsApp is showing up here but that's an application which we generally use so uh, we don't need to put it to sleep because if you put it to deep sleep you will not be able to get any notifications on WhatsApp. Now that's a new feature memory resident applications uh, which is not available on the previous version. Okay now let me show you the next important change or the feature that we have got. Uh, we have got this auto optimization feature here. I'll tap on this. As you can see on the previous version, we got restart when needed toggle right here. And here it says auto restart. Uh, it's a separate section we have got. Now when I tap on this, it just turns on. But when I tap on this option, it is taking me to another menu where we got two different toggles. One is restart when needed. The next one is restart on schedule. Now this was not there on the previous version. Uh, we just have restart when needed. Uh, we can turn this on. Your phone will restart automatically when performance issues are detected. However, if you want to restart your phone on a particular schedule, you can use this particular toggle. It says set a schedule for when you want your phone to restart. Let me just tap on this. 
as you can see i can select a specific day and i can select a specific time right here if you want to restart the phone once or twice in a week you can select the days on which you want to restart your phone automatically uh, and then select the time that you want your phone will restart automatically within one hour of the time you have set after your phone restarts you need to unlock it before you can receive notifications and alarms from uh, some applications and see the names of incoming callers so this is something you need to note uh, now we have got this brand new option to restart the phone on a specific schedule now apart from this we have got some minor uh, changes in the ui here as you can see now the performance profile have been moved here earlier it was there in the battery section now it is available right here below app protection section then when you go to the battery you can see the statistics here uh, the graphs are a little different compared to one ui 5.1 uh, it is more of a bar chart here and uh, when i tap on this uh, it is going to show me similar bar chart here and uh, uh, we will have to swipe towards the right to see the last seven days of usage whereas on the newer version we can tap on these dates to see the battery usage on a particular day that is another change we have got on one ui 6.0 now these are some of the important features and changes i wanted to discuss with you guys let me know what do you think if you think samsung should have done a better job they should have added some additional features or changes should have been made drop a comment and let me know let's discuss in the comment section that's all i want to share with you guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel already go ahead subscribe to the channel to become a part of apex community to know your samsung galaxy phones better and give this video a like if you find this video informational and if you're interested in uh, these wallpapers I have left a link for these wallpapers in the description. Go ahead, download them and enjoy these wallpapers. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.